Hello, today I'm gonna to teach you how to use a Zoom audio recorder. Let's start by identifying the different parts of the Zoom. At the top, there are two microphones used to record audio internally. On the front, there are three knobs. The knob at the top is used to adjust internal audio, while the knobs below the screen are used to adjust external audio. Under that, there's a variety of buttons. The four labeled L, R, 1, and 2 are used to select if you're recording to internal or external microphones. There are also stop, play and pause, fast forward, and rewind buttons. Finally, this is the record button. On the right side, there's a remote input as well as a lever to navigate on-screen options and the menu button. There's also a slot for your SD card here. On the left side, there are two outputs, one for line out and another for headphones. There's also a volume control. Be careful with this because it only adjusts volume for your headphones, not the recording volume. Next to that, there's a USB port to connect the device to a power source, and below that, we have the power button. At the bottom, there are two XLR ports to attach external microphones to. To turn the zoom on, press and hold the power button on the left side. The screen will light up and you'll be greeted by a welcome message as the device powers up. The first step is to place an SD card into the slot on the right of the zoom. Next, we'll format your SD card to prepare to accept audio. We'll do this in the menu. Press the menu button on the right side and use the lever above it to scroll to SD card. Select this option by pressing in on the lever and another menu will appear. You should select format and then press yes to confirm that you really want to format your SD card. The zoom will show a loading screen for a few moments before taking you back to the menu. Press menu one more time to exit the menu screen. Now it's time to decide which input to use. You can either use the internal microphones at the top or attach an external microphone at the bottom. The buttons labeled L and R represent the internal microphone, while the buttons labeled 1 and 2 represent the external microphones. If you're not sure about which input to use, think about what you're recording. If you're recording a voiceover for your project, you'll probably want to use the internal microphone. If you're recording audio from a performance, you might want to use the external microphone. Today, we're going to use the internal microphone. Now, you've probably already noticed the two moving bars along the center of the screen. These bars represent your audio levels. For the best audio, try to keep the bars between negative 12 and negative 6 along the numbered line. You can test this by bringing the zoom close to your mouth and speaking at a normal volume. Use the knob located at the top of your zoom to adjust your internal audio levels. The higher the number is, the louder your audio will be. Make sure you're wearing headphones to test for audio quality. Once you're happy with the sound coming through your headphones, you're ready to record. Press the record button on the front of the zoom so it lights up to show that you're recording. Another way to check that you're recording is to look for numbers counting up on the screen. This tells you how long you've been recording for. Once you're done using the zoom, you can press the record button again to stop the recording. If you want to listen to what you just recorded, go back into the menu and select File List. Then hit the play button to check out how you sound. If you're happy with your recording, press and hold the power button until you see the words, goodbye, see you, flash on the screen.